Okay, first we're gonna create a workstation for UBN in UBN2 for building, compiling Magic Lantern and trying to get Chemu going for the 1200D. This is basically what this tutorial is for. Um, but obviously, once you get everything started, you can also use this tutorial for just uh, getting um, Magic Lantern set up or the UBN2 set up if you don't want to do the pre-built one which is just fine but if you want to build it yourself this will help you I'm just gonna go through and start fresh S so any mistakes that I make um, are they gonna be the same ones you'll probably definitely get and it all will work through them and this way you can kind of learn how to deal with mistakes when they pop up uh, it's been a little while since I did this so I'm gonna kind of start fresh and uh, we'll just go from there Okay, first, make sure you get the latest virtual box, get all that installed, go to Oracle and get that installed. Then you need to go to uh, get UBN2. That's going to be, let's see. Go to downloads. You want to go to <coughs> alternate download site or alternate and get the desktop version this one here 12 desktop or this one um, I would guess this one would probably be the best one just get the desktop version and um, you should be set uh, if, <coughs> if you have a torrent site it's gonna give you a torrent but uh, um, you might be able to find it somewhere else. Let's see, we'll go here. Yeah, it'll give you the torrent. You'll have to get a BitTorrent program and uh, you'll be able to get it. So once you have your ISO, then you're set with that. So. Now let's get back. We're gonna go ahead and create a new, we're gonna call this whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it Magic Lantern Temp. Leave it set for Linux. Go to 32-bit because we want a 32-bit version. There's no reason to get 64-bit. And click Next. For the RAM, let's give it <coughs> 4096. Should be fine if you don't have that much you know you just basically need to at least give it a gig but um, I have a 12 gigs on mine so um, I'm just gonna go at four but definitely more than a gig at least okay create virtual disk next and you can set it to fixed fixed will be faster uh, when working with it but it takes longer to set up dynamically is easier or quicker to start up it doesn't use hard drive space right away, but in the end, it will use all the hard drive space. So, <coughs> just set whatever one. I'm just going to go with the quicker one. Uh, for this, you're going to want some file size. 8 gigs, you know, is enough, but it, if you have multiple um, builds of Magic Lantern saved, then it's going to add up kind of quick. So, i kind of been working with 30 uh, to try to just make sure I don't run out of room later, because... Um, it's a real pain if you want to resize the drive later because you risk wiping everything out if it doesn't go correctly. So it's better to start, get a good chunk start to start with. And then go ahead and create it. And then that's set. Now for here, we just want to go into settings and just double check everything's good. Set that to buyer directional for share clipboard so we can share between Windows and our UBN2. Turn off floppy. Set this to PS2 if you're using a PS2 mouse. If not, then I guess you can leave it to the tablet one. Uh, processor's fine. All that's fine. Leave all your acceleration off. Turn the video memory all the way up as high as you can go. Uh, and then really the only other thing is for our CD-ROM, we want to choose empty here. And we want to choose our ISO that we downloaded. 
you know, just go here and go to downloads folder wherever you saved it and then but I already had it in here, I already used it once, so you could just go ahead and use it. Um, that'll allow it to boot just like a CD ROM would boot up on a computer first. Audio, I'm gonna just turn my audio off, disable it for it, so I don't need it for this. And everything else should be fine. Click OK and then just start it by double clicking or just click on highlight it and then press start when it shows don't worry about this error when you see this just ignore that for now we'll fix that later okay and you'll just want to go to install and don't worry about the download updates, you can do that later if you want. Um, to get back and forth smoothly, you can hold your right control key down and get you back and forth if you need to use your mouse and it's not working correctly between Windows and UVN2 window. Um, Alright, just click continue. Erase. And install. And then just let it install and I'll come back. Uh, just make sure you answer all the questions, pretty common sense. Make sure you can figure it out, name and all that stuff. And log in automatically, put a password, like something nice and something simple because you'll be using it a lot. Don't um, if you're a slow typer, just numbers, whatever, one through six, and uh, set all that up. All right, and just let it go through and let it fully install. Just like I said, just get everything set up and let it restart, and we'll go from there. Okay, and once it's done installing, just click restart and let it restart and come back. Oh, so you don't get confused on the screen. <coughs> just go up here, optical drive. And actually, it's already, so we can just go ahead and press enter. Okay, once it starts, just <coughs> go ahead and first thing we got to do is install, insert guest edition. So go to devices, insert. This will allow it to take advantage of our computer's windows, our main computer's hardware. Click run. Type in your password. Just let it do what it needs to do and l when it's done, just hit return or whatever to restart and restart the computer. Again, once it's done doing that, it'll ask you to press return. Just press it and just make sure you restart um, your setup. Like I said, don't worry about this error that pops up here about um, your SMB storage thing. Just ignore it for now. Okay, it is in set up now, so I'm just going to get rid of some things. Unlock from, we don't need that. We won't need this just right clicking and getting rid of stuff that we ain't gonna use just to clear it gonna eject our addition thing I mean we can kind of leave all this stuff here um, share clipboard is is set up uh, and basically we can stretch our screen now that we have that additions all in there and that's pretty much it for setting up everything and we'll go to the next part and we'll work on the next phase